Okay guys, you join me here at the 2024 New York Auto Show with the all new 2025 Subaru Forester here. Total redesign of the Subaru Forester, almost from the ground up. It's still riding on like a next generation of Subaru's global platform here, but we can really see the totally different new styling language that honestly looks a little bit more better in person than I was expecting. In the photos, it makes it look a little bit more boxy and cubey of a design than I was expecting, but here we can see it's a little bit more typical of what we would expect from a Subaru Forester. And I do happen to quite like these new LED lights we have up front here let's take a little bit closer tour of this front end we have a new led light design going on up front here with a nice little subaru insignia right there built into the headlight it's a little bit slimmer and nicer than i was expecting it actually still follows that subaru c shape a little bit you can kind of see the grill blends up to here speaking of the grill that is also all new for this new generation of the subaru forester we have a pretty similar front end actually once you see it in person it's a very similar in terms of the shape it's not as big and bulky as it may look in some pictures we do still have lower fog lights down here as well as these little accent points here which i could possibly we see coming to a wilderness version down in the future. We also see a little bit of a tow recovery hitch right there as well. Coming around to the side, we can also see we have some new wheel designs on the new Subaru Forester, which is definitely to be expected. I think this is a pretty nice touch with wheel designs. Um, there's also a little bit of this kind of active or passive arrow of, of shape going on along here. So we can see air passing through alongside of the 2025 Forester help with some fuel efficiency. New dynamic kind of shape here going on on these side panels. We have a little bit more of that textured um, pattern we've been seeing on Subaru models as well. It's a little bit of a touch, but they also say it helps with aerodynamics as well. Alongside here, we have a pretty similar shape of the side of the Forester, but this is definitely new. We have this little accent here on this rear seat pillar. We're saying symmetrical all-wheel drive blending into the side of the window design, which is a pretty unique touch. We can also see some more Subaru badging within all of the headlight and taillight design, which is also a nice touch, I think, as well. We have a nice little gas cap here, which is a cool touch. And on the back here, you can see the new kind of tail design of the 2025 Forester. This is where it gets a little bit more boxy than I was going to be expecting back here. You can see we have the Forester insignia kind of blended into the rear of the tailgate now. And this is obviously going to be the touring top trim model, kind of blacked out super badging. And this new kind of faux light bar style designs so that we'd have a combination rear LED and incandescent style tail light design. Up here is going to be LED. And this is going to blend into the next super badge back here. Opening up our tailgate, it is a power tailgate on this particular touring model. And we can see we have a really absolutely massive rear trunk space back here. Huge amount of opening. I, this has to be one of the widest trunk openings I've seen on a new vehicle. We have a Forester mat back here, which is a nice touch as well as a nice little mountain style design over here. We can fold our seats back here, but we cannot power pull them up, which I think is okay for this segment. We have a lot of little storage nooks and cubbies back here, which you can hang things on, which is a nice touch as well. And just check out the amount of space you have in the back of this forest. So really impressive. You can also see the camera for our smart rear view mirror, which is also a really nice touch. Of course, power closing on the tailgate here for the 2025 Forester. And let's take a quick tour of the interior of the 2025 Forester, starting with the rear seats. Coming to the rear seats of the Forester, specifically on this touring model, we have a nice new blend of materials here. I think this is a kind of a faux suede style material with this um, leather material going around the door panel as well. A nice touch for Subaru. And we can see a nice amount of rear legroom back here. So let's hop in and check that out real quick. A lot of rear legroom back here actually, so I can kind of move around pretty freely. This driver's seat does to be, appear to be a little bit further back um, as well. So we have a double, triple layer almost um, rear cubby storage behind here. Lots of foot space and knee room as well. We have heated rear seats on this particular model as well as USB-C and A port as well, which is a nice touch. Again, a lot of rear legroom back here. And you can check out the new cabin of the Forester, which is pretty much similar to new Subaru vehicles. But let's go check that out real quick. Up front here, we do have the lights on. Let's turn those off real quick. Again, we can see the same material design that we saw out back. Um, a little bit more dynamic shapes for this seats up here. A little bit more premium than you've seen before on the Forester. But I do really like the incredible size of this opening here to, for ease of entry and exit. They did really think about that. Again, this is pretty much what we're going to see on all new Subaru models up front here. This um, larger touchscreen display, which is not particularly my favorite if you see my reviews. We have this new kind of pattern style texture on the dash over here, as well as this kind of similar style layout of this entire center console to other Subaru vehicles. And th this is an area where I think Subaru really needs to improve is their interiors. I don't think they're really up to par with the competition. We're seeing digital clusters and other vehicles, some heads-up displays, and more advanced um, infotainment screens that Subaru just is not up to date with yet. So hopefully we'll see that come from, coming from them down the road. Hopefully some help with Toyota from that. But I do really like this absolutely massive kind of moonroof back here. It's not a full panoramic glass roof, but it's definitely a large size um, for the Forester. And opening up the door here, we can go take a quick look at what's happening sort of under the hood. 
Now, while we can't open this right now, we do have a typical four-cylinder flat four engine from Subaru. There will be a hybrid version coming, which is going to be the first Forester hybrid. Still no word, unfortunately, though, that a turbo is going to be coming back to the Forester, which is a little bit unfortunate. But we can also see the Forester over here in this white color as well, with this kind of new bronze accents, which I think is a really nice touch looking at the wheels down here. I believe this is the new Forester Sport. We also have another Forester plopped up there and the really cool Subaru stage here at the 2024 New York Auto Show. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick look at this new Forester, and hopefully we'll get to drive it soon for a long-term review. Cheers.